You know, during the holidays, many of the Cardinals like to give back. This past week, many of the players out and about serving meals across the valley. I absolutely love this picture from Larry Fitzgerald tonight, hanging out with the families out at St. Vincent's DePaul. Before that, he stopped by Cardinals owner Bill Bidwell's house to bring Mr. B his first ever deep fried turkey. And speaking of eating, recently got the chance to catch up with defensive tackle Frosty Rucker at a local elementary school. Ever wonder why his Twitter handle is at the organic frost? It's because Frosty is big on eating right, and he's helping make sure today's youth is doing the same. We got some kids to pay How did you work hard? Frosty, what are we doing here, buddy? Man, we're just uh, helping out. You know, uh, diabetes is a very, very serious disease, and these kids got a, a good lesson today with exercising and doing uh, various sports and you know we got to get in the garden a little bit today and uh, plant some vegetables and stuff that it's just a good way for them to obviously know how to eat healthy but another way to be self-efficient. Most people don't know that that's something you had to figure out. Right? Absolutely you know it took me a little while to uh, change my diet to an organic uh, diet. You didn't do this until just recently in your life. You know, uh, was it just getting older or was it just learning more? It just takes a while for you to become really professional and know that the fuel you put in your body is what's going to give you the energy to do your job. What are some things you eat now that you never thought you'd eat? Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Let me start there. Let me tell you this. That's the only food I couldn't eat as a kid. That's right. Every time Same I here. taste it, I, I literally almost throw up. Yeah, it's flip-flops. So Brussels sprouts, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I said I can eat them, you know? Okay. So I'll eat, I'll eat more Brussels sprouts. Is the main thing that sticks out to me that something I never would have ate when I was a kid because of the taste. But I think it's the way people prepare it now, too. Yeah. Now we're in elementary school. What do you remember about your elementary school days? Recess. It was on and pop. Favorite game? Recess. Kickball? What was recess. It? Just recess. Recess. What'd y'all do? Hashtag recess. Hashtag <laughs> recess. No, we had tetherball, handball. All right. You had occasional kickball. Were uh, you a beast at kickball? Oh, man, I was. I like the bounties, big bounties. <laughs> Not little bounces, big bounties, <laughs> big so I can get a boom, you know? So, uh, yeah, I loved recess. I like, that was probably my major <laughs> <laughs> in elementary <laughs> school was recess. <laughs> Quick football question. Where do you think you guys are at right now? Does it matter how pretty, ugly, as no, long as it wins? No, at this rate, you know, we just need to win our games and uh, stop going for style points. You know, a lot of people want to see a really fancy game, but it's going to be hard-fought games, you know. As it goes down to the wire, every team we play is fighting for a chance. You know, everyone's right there on the cusp of getting in. So it's on us to make our stake and play better, play together, and do what we know we can do. You played football a long time. You've been on very successful teams. You've been on bad teams. Can a team be successful in the playoffs if the back half of the season, every game is a dogfight? Well, yeah. I mean, you're leading up to it. You know, uh, a lot of people in the past would like to start hot. You know, we've started hot in the past, but then we fizzled out at the end. So as long as we're climbing like this at the right time and we're peaking to go where we need to go, the matchups will be where they are. We just got to get in the dance.